Now, when it comes to the weather, it all boils down to the water cycle, whether it's rain, snow or even condensation. An easy experiment you can do at your home shows just how it impacts everyday life. Kylie is back to give us a closer look. Evaporation, condensation, precipitation, it's the water cycle. The water cycle goes on and on. It's the continuous movement of water from the earth and the atmosphere. The heat from the sun causes water from all bodies of water, like oceans, rivers, lakes, and streams, to evaporate. Evaporation occurs when the liquid water from the surface of the earth changes phase to water vapor in the atmosphere. Transpiration can also occur through the movement of water going into the atmosphere from plants and trees. So as the relatively warmer water vapor rises, the cooler air aloft causes the water vapor to turn back into a liquid water phase, creating clouds. That is known as condensation. Eventually, when the cloud becomes full of liquid water droplets, it falls from the sky in the form of precipitation, like rain and snow. Then the cycle starts over again. This experiment we're about to do shows what happens in the cloud during the water cycle. So what you're going to need for this experiment is some shaving cream, a glass full of water and make sure the glass is clear so you can see when it starts to rain and you are going to need some food coloring dye. So you're going to take your glass full of water, put some shaving cream right on top of it. The shaving cream is going to act as the cloud and then you're going to take your food coloring dye, drop about six or seven drops of the dye onto the shaving cream, in this case the cloud, and then eventually you're going to start to see it rain. This is a fun weather experiment to do to learn about the water cycle. Now that's the science of weather. In Southfield, I'm meteorologist Kylie Miller.